Hi and welcome to Strength Training TV. I'm Sean McGill and I'll be your host. On today's episode we will be discussing the topic of children and weightlifting and try to answer the age-old question, how young is too young to start working out? Before we can get to that, let's give you a little background about myself. Uh, as a fellow kinesiology student, I hope to um, become at San Jose State University. I hope to become certified as a strength and conditioning coach upon my graduation. And um, after I become certified as a strength and conditioning coach, I hope to find a job at a local college or high school uh, working with students to help them in uh, strength and conditioning and maybe one day even become a strength and conditioning coach for a pro sports team. And uh, my long-term goal in life is to open my own powerlifting oriented gym and uh, help train athletes. And so I feel that the topic of children and weightlifting is a very important topic for the career goals I have set for myself. So if we look at some of the research uh, for children and weightlifting, it's really changed a lot in the last 20 years. I've looked up a lot of different articles, done my research on this, and um, if we look at the first article I found, it's all the way from back in 1990, and the study is called uh, Strength Training, Weight, and Powerlifting, and Bodybuilding by Children and Adolescents. This study was done in 1990, and it basically found that strength training should be supervised by well-trained adults, if it is to be done at all by children, and they also recommended that repetitive use of maximal amounts of weight in a strength training program by children should be avoided at all circumstances. So, so as we look at that study, we see that they're basically saying that they shouldn't go anywhere near maximal effort and that uh, if they are even going to consider doing it, they, they should have someone watching them, but it's still really not even considered. And the next article I found is from the year 2000. So now we're looking at an article from about 10 years ago. And it is called the um, Do's and Don'ts of Strength Training for Young Children. And um, it basically offered some things that we should do if we're going to have children exercising and some things we shouldn't do. Some things that we should do is we, we should teach the children good technique and good form on all exercises. We should supervise the children the whole time they're working out to make sure that they're doing good form and then correct them if the form is wrong. And we should be there to help them in any way possible and answer any questions they may have. We should not allow students to increase the amount of workload or weight until we feel it's appropriate for them. We should not let them go near maximal effort. They should only be using 50 to 60 percent of their max and do sets of 10 repetitions, three sets of 10 repetitions. And we should not make students compete against one another. We should try to downplay any competitiveness to make students want to and children want to go heavier and be stronger than everyone else. There should be no competition. It should just be fun and exercising. Finally, in the most recent study I could find called Raising the Bar, Pushing Away the Microconception and Pulling Out New Ideas Regarding Youth Strength Training and Children. This article is from 2008. This is the most recent article I could find. The authors in this article concluded that weightlifting is very encouraged in children, and if started at an early age, it can help build tendencies of children wanting to exercise for the rest of their lifetime, and that the sooner we start exercising, the better likely we are to continue exercising and do weight training for the rest of our lives. It just builds good habits for us in our lives. In this article, they also recommended that children could possibly be using maximal effort, that they could find their one repetition max, that they aren't seeing any problems or complications of it. And so um, this is the only article I found that is saying this so far. So I mean, I feel more research should be done for that. But I mean, I think that's pretty groundbreaking in and of itself. And this article also dispelled all any myths that people have heard about children and weightlifting, that it stunts their growth. And this is absolutely not true. That it does nothing. It does not stunt growth at all and has shown no complications in children. So, the sooner we start children working out, the better. And based on these three articles, I think we can see how opinions and research has changed over 20, a 20 year period. And that we really should encourage our children to start exercising now and instill those habits in them now. That way they can carry them on for the rest of their lifetime. 
exercise, any myths that people have about exercise using in children, it's going to take time to dispel these myths because they've been around so long. But the more research we do on this topic and the more we delve into it, the better off we are and the better off as kinesiology students we can understand this issue. So, so with the proper uh, pr precautions taken, children can work out. I feel they should be supervised at all times. We should be structuring a good weight training program for them that incorporates weights and also can incorporate maybe bands or other forms of resistance, maybe using their own body weight and, or using different objects possibly. But they, they're also welcome to come in the gym and use the regular weights also in machines. I feel we should not let them go near their one repetition max. We should keep them at about a 50 to 60% range for that. And we should be having them do about three to six exercises per workout. And their workout should last 30 to 45 minutes maximum. No more over that. And they should only be exercising two to three times per week. No more than that, really. And it's going to help instill positive qualities in them. And so to answer my previous question in the beginning of this, how young is too young to start exercising? There really is no age limit to it. The sooner we start our children working out, the sooner they're going to enjoy it, and the sooner they're going to instill those qualities so they do it for the rest of their lives. And so if we look at their, our future and their future, that we can help prolong in their life and just help them have a happy future by having them exercise and instilling good habits now and dedication and what it takes. So that's about it for my episode of Strength Training today. I recommend, uh, that my basic recommendation is allowing children to exercise as long as the appropriate precautions are taken based on current research that we have. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and uh, look for future episodes on other topics. All right, have a good day.